couldn't find it hard to start How long shall we be patient before we reach the promised land? Let's save Nigeria, so Nigeria won't die Which way Nigeria? Which way? Which way Nigeria? Tell me which way to go Which way to go? After unsuccessful attempt to get essential commodities from the local markets, many people today beseech the Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Industry and Cooperatives with a view to getting the authority to collect from for the allocation of some essential commodities. According to TSO's news investigation, many people have been coming to the Ministry every day for some times back. From morning till closing time, hundreds of people were found in every corner of the ministry, including all corridors and offices. The permanent secretary's office was also taken over by angry people who insisted on getting some allocation of essential commodities. Chief Adedeji tried several times in vain to persuade the people to leave the premises. Some of these people spoke to TSOS News. My name is Bola Odushusi. The problem I noticed here and I had here is that uh, in the first place, the whole, whole thing is so uh, primitively planned. Planlessness is number one problem we are encountering here. Number two, it appears some people are slated to be having the uh, essential commodities indefinitely to the detriment of others. Because I've been coming here regularly for the past two months and I've not been privileged to, to, to have anything. After a series of applications, the CCO, the man issuing it, asked me to write one in, on his table. I wrote it, this is the paper, and then he put there, check me up on the 1884. And today now is 29th of August. You can see the difference. He wrote that in on the 27th of uh, July. And since then, I've been coming, nothing. And some people will come and go in and get this ready-made uh, something every time. That's one problem. Another problem is if you go to the supermarket like CFAO, GBO, all these places, they have these commodities right now. But the, this ministry, I was made to understand, quarantined the goods and that uh, they were uh, made not to sell them. We cannot get to buy at the supermarkets and uh, in the ministry here yeah, is uh, for the lucky ones for the privileged few and uh, i don't think this is helping the public at all i'm Antonio Adini, and i've been here i've been patronizing these people for the past two or three months yeah without giving me anything i mean you be yes i've been coming here if you confirmed sources claim that the commissioner for the ministry mr adeni radetoye was already on leave and in order to get the ministry side, TSOS News tried to interview the permanent secretary on the case. Chief Adedeji said that I would have to draft the questions for him to review and that he would have to get a clearance before he could talk to us. We tried to persuade him to consider granting the interview, especially at this time when Commissioner Adeni Radetoye is on leave. As we were pressing him for an interview, the pressure from the waiting public who were not patient made Chief Adedeji leave his office, only to be found in another office. When some of the people got there, including our news crew, he quickly left the place to lock himself up in another room. Up till 4 p.m. when employees of the ministry left, the permanent secretary did not leave and so didn't members of the public. However, TSO's news went to some local supermarkets and found that many had no stock of essential commodities on display. At Lementis Supermarket, one of the top executives would not talk to us as regards the allegation that many kept the stock of these essential commodities unsold to the public. From there, a news crew drove to one of the warehouses of the Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Industry and Cooperatives and found some people loading bags of rice into some vans and trucks. 
according to one official of the ministry, the allocations being taken were meant for the employees of both the Ministry of Establishment and the Public Service Commission. At the warehouse itself, cartons of evaporated milk were found scattered all over the floor. Most of them seemed spoiled as evidence of rotten cans were found. Also, leaking tins of vegetable oil were seen. Some bags of rice also showed some form of spoilage. The presence of the members of the public at the Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Industry and Cooperatives seems to be a problem difficult to tackle by the officials of the ministry as my link with the permanent secretary confirmed this. Anybody can understand. The commodities handled by this ministry are of immense value to the public. Situation analysts believed that until the ministry can provide a better distribution formula, it is only then that the establishment can have peace. Dr. Onibokun, TSOS News.